And cooking an entire Thanksgiving dinner is not easy. It's a lot of work, right? <laughs> Have no fear, though. The turkey experts are here. Yeah, Roseanne is live with more on the Butterball Turkey Talk line. And Roseanne, I know you're probably teaching them a thing or two because you throw <laughs> down in the kitchen. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> My daughter, truth be told, is doing most of the cooking this year. But, um, but we do have one of these babies in the freezer, and uh, Javier Reyes is here telling me, that, you know, exactly how to thaw it out. But we have one question for you from our producer, Perry. Um, and I never thought about this until Perry asked, why is it called Butterball Turkey? Well, one of the founders of the brand liked the, the plumness that, of the turkey, uh, and they said it looked like a bowl of, a ball of butter. So that's why they call it Butterball. Right. So it has nothing to do with there's no butter in the turkey, nothing like that, which is interesting. I had no idea. So tell me, what are the most common questions people have? A lot of questions about thawing this time of, uh, of the, the week, and then they go on into questions about cooking and knowing when it's done. Um, just about every kind of question you can think of. How many calls are you going to field, do you think, on Thanksgiving? Uh, well, last year we fielded 3,500 calls just on Thanksgiving Day. Wow. And these people that we're looking at, they're not just reading from a script. They are actually nutritionists and cooks? Uh, nutritionists, um, registered dietitians, uh, chefs, instructors, teachers, people who have been doing this for years, they'll, have, they'll bring some expertise to it. But most of all, they're here to help people. They want to be, be able to help people and answer their questions. Right. And the temperature, again, of the fully cooked turkey? Uh, you want to make sure your thigh goes to 180 degrees and the breast 170. And if you have stuffing in it 165 for the stuffing and the rule for the water thaw uh, 30 minutes per pound okay. uh, and change the water every 30 minutes cold water and on and the website we have all the information and the craziest question you ever got well um, there was one customer who uh, said there was no meat on their turkey uh, yeah. which I didn't understand it was on the Thursday uh, Thursday evening um, and we found out it's because she had cooked it upside down so, so she was so cutting so into some bones into the back of the turkey instead yeah. of the, the breast okay well Javier tells me if you are one of those people who are like, gee, which end is up? The label is over the breast. That's up, ladies and gentlemen, if you're cooking your first bird. <laughs> Thank you so much, Javier. Thank you so much for having us. Okay. Again, the phone lines are ready. And believe me, they're filled in calls. So if you have a question, do it now while you can get through. Back to you in the studio. Roseanne, did you say your turkey is still in the freezer? <laughs> it is, but did oh. you hear it's that it... It's what, how much, how many um, per pound, how many minutes in the water? Uh, if you're doing the water thaw method, 30 minutes per pound. So it'll be done in a matter of hours. So there you go, Miss okay, Sylvia. Girl. <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> She's actually the cook. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be ready. I'm I sure promise. it will. I have no doubt. I believe in you, Roseanne. It's going to look as beautiful this as the one you have next to you. Keep that eye open. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Actor and musician Jared Leto is reacting to recent conspiracies that he is related to the Kardashian clan's Scott Disson.